Good morning, students. We are going to start lesson number thirty in English one. A book speaks. Children, this is a poem in which a book talks about its feelings. It says that when someone drops it on the floor, it gets stepped on and its sides feel sore. It makes a noise of pain. when someone tears out its pages it feels giddy if it is thrown away any mark or stain on its cover gives it pain the book requests its readers not to be not to bend it it says it will not talk to the person who does so it then says that it will be friends with those who protect it from the weather and keep it clean so that it looks a tidy neat and happy book so these are the feelings of the book where the book feels happy and when it is unhappy when it is sad so let us recite the poem a book speaks when you drop me on the floor i get stepped on my sides are so meaning of so if a body part is so it hurts when you touch it or move it turn out pages make me groan i feel dizzy if i am thrown groan means make a sound that shows pain unhappiness dizzy means as if your head is going round and round when you play while playing if you go round and round and round merry go round like if you sit in the merry go round so you you feel dizzy your head goes round and round every mark and every stain on my covers gives me pain please don't bend me if you do i don't want to talk to you but we will both be friends together if you protect me from the weather and keep me clean so that i look a tidy neat and happy book so a very sweet poem where the book is requesting you the reader how to take care of the book and how to keep the book so that it is neat it feels happy and it will be friend with you so children recite this poem and see that you all keep your books neat and tidy not to tear out the pages not to stain not to scribble on the book and not to like uh, bend the book we uh, corners of the pages most of um, many children have the habit of folding folding the corners so if you take all these uh, if you take care of the book it will be friend with you and it will be a tidy neat and happy book